Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video I'll be showing you how to fix Windows 10 update errors. So as you can see on my screen at the moment I do have an update error for 0x800 70643. You might actually recognize this error as this is the one that Microsoft kind of screwed up as they didn't allow enough room on the Windows recovery partition to allow this update to install on a lot of users' computers, which we are still waiting for a fix on. And if you're getting this error, this video won't unfortunately help fix this error, but I will pop a link in the description below to a video that I have done that will help fix this error. But if that video doesn't help, then obviously try the methods in this video also. So that's enough me talking and rambling on. Let's take a look at what we can do to fix these Windows update errors. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is ensure that you do have enough hard drive space. Now, if you open up File Explorer and go to your computer, so as you can see, I've got 93 gig of free space, which is plenty of space on my hard drive, my C drive, which has Windows installed on. So I don't need to free up any space. But if your hard drive is getting low on space, you've got a red bar and you've got say 500 meg or one gig, something like that, then you're going to want to delete some files and free up some space. Now that does now bring me on to the next method, which is to use a program that I created called Easy System Utility. Now this will help you free up this space on your computer. As you can see, there's loads of different options there, which I will actually add more options to in a new update. The program is very new at the moment. And if you wanna help support the program, then obviously check out the website and purchase the pro version. All your support means a lot to me and it really does help. So what we wanna do is select temporary files. You can also select prefetch files and DirectX cache and we can also select crash dump files if you want to. For now, I'm going to leave all that off and just select those options there. What you then need to do is click on clean and it's just going to remove all those files from your computer, freeing up space. Now with Easy System Utility Pro as well, I'm not saying this is 100% going to work for you, but there is an option there for repair and I have added an option which I've added methods into, such as some of the ones that I'm showing you in this video, which it will run through and attempt to repair Windows updates. So you can see the buttons there. Now I'm just gonna minimize this for a second. And the next thing that we want to do after using Easy System Utility, which you can grab from my website, is to ensure that none of your security software is blocking the Windows updates. So if you have McAfee, AVG, AFAST, anything like that installed on your computer, just put it into a passive again mode or disable it. Only do this if you feel obviously confident in doing that. Disable it and then try doing the Windows update again, just in case it's blocking those updates. Now, if that didn't help fix the issue, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the start menu, type in CMD, and we're gonna run command prompt as an administrator. Once you have command prompt open, you now need to type in the following. So we're gonna type net space stop, and you then need to do space again, W, U, and then you wanna go A, U, and then S, E, R, V. And we're then gonna go enter. This is going to stop the Windows update service. Now, the reason that we wanna do this is because we want to delete the cache files for the Windows update. So to do this, we need to go back to File Explorer, go onto the C drive, we're looking for the Windows folder, and you then need to scroll down. And we're now looking for a folder that says software distribution. Go into this folder and select everything and go delete and then go continue. Once this is finished, just press continue again. Let's do this for all current items. Anyway, once that's finished, go back to command prompt and we want to do the same command again. However, this time we want to go start and then go enter. Now that's now going to start the Windows update service and you can see it's now running. Once you've done that, now try doing the um, update again. So go on to settings, check for updates and see if that helped resolve the problem. Now, if it didn't, then the next thing that you want to do in command prompt again is type the following SFC space and we want to do forward slash scan. And then now, once you type that in, press enter and this is going to run a scan on your computer just to ensure that none of your Windows system files and stuff have become corrupted, damaged, or missing. And if it does detect an issue, then Windows is going to attempt to repair that. 
So that does pretty much bring me to the end of this video. Other things to keep an eye on when trying to update Windows is if you have a controller or a USB stick or something like that plugged into your computer, unplug it all, a microphone and stuff, just in case the device is causing some sort of confliction, which again is stopping the Windows update. Also, if you currently have users signed into Windows, make sure everyone's signed out apart from yourself. You can check if this is the case by right clicking on the start menu icon, go to task manager, users, and then just sign out any users there. So I hope this video did help fix the Windows update error that you're having on your computer. Um, the only other thing that you can do if you haven't done so already, which I expect you have, is just restart your computer. Restarting the computer can resolve many problems when it comes to crashing, update errors, and just weird glitches within Windows. So if you did like the video, click the like button below, and if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button.